In this video, I will explain the relation between f-stop numbers, ISO values, and ND filter numbers. We all have to deal with these values every day, of course, but it's important to know how we have to adapt the two values when one of them changes. So at the end of the video, you will exactly know that raising the ISO from 400 to 800 has the exact same effect on exposure as dropping down from f2.8 to f2. And that you have to use an ND8 filter to darken the image by three stops. Let's start with the f-stop values of a lens that indicates how wide the lens aperture, the blades inside the lens, are opened and therefore how much light travels through the lens and reaches the sensor. Think of the f-stop number as a factor for reducing the light. A small f-stop number reduces the light less than a big f-stop number. Because at small f-stop values, the hole is wide open and lets in more light than the small hole at higher f-stops. But what does the term stop even mean? Well, if we talk about raising the brightness of any image by one stop, it means we have to double the amount of light that reaches the camera sensor. So here are the main f-stop values, each differing by one full stop. If you raise the number, the hole gets smaller and the amount of light is halved. If you lower the number, the hole gets bigger and the amount of light is doubled. Lowering by two stops gives us four times the light. Lowering by three stops gives us already eight times the light. But as you see, the interval between the numbers increases. It's not linear at all. Well, each time we want to half the light going through the lens hitting the sensor, we have to decrease the diameter of the blades by the square root of two. This is just a physical fact, I'm sorry. And the square root of two is 1.414. So going from one f-stop to the next one, we have to multiply its value by 1.414. And now these values make perfect sense. Now let's see how we can counteract a change in f-stop with the ISO value. Let's say we want to keep the same exposure. This scene is exposed how we like it and we want to make the background a bit blurrier. Lower f-stop values create a blurrier background. So we change the f-stop value from f2.8 to f1.4 by two stops. The image is too bright now because the sensor gets four times as much light. So we can reduce the sensor's sensitivity, which is the ISO value. And these values are pretty easy to understand. Doubling the ISO means doubling the exposure in the final image. In our case, we want to darken the image by two stops. So we have to bring down the ISO value from 800 to 400 to get one stop and from 400 to 200 to get two stops of light reduction. Now we have the same exposure as before, but with a blurrier background. And knowing this saves you a lot of time because you don't have to re-expose when you change your f-stop. You know how you have to change your ISO values. And now to the final part of the video and defilter values. We use them like sunglasses for the lens. Imagine you have a very bright scene and our ISO is already at the lowest value, let's say 100. But you want a shallow depth of field, blurry background. So we need to keep the aperture wide open, let's say an f1.4. But of course, a lot of light will hit the sensor in a daylight scenario. So we have to darken the image. So instead of using a smaller aperture, like an f2.8, to get less light on the sensor, we can put an ND filter in front to darken the scene. Some ND filters have values on their side, which say ND2, ND4, ND8, ND16, and so on. And ND2 halves the amount of light, so it brings down the image by one full stop. This has exactly the same effect on exposure as if you would use an f2.8 instead of an f2. And ND4 reduces the light by two stops, an ND8 by three, and an ND16 by four stops. So each doubling of the ND value reduces your exposure by one further stop. Some filters though already have the reduction stops printed on the side. You don't have to know anything. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to buy a cheap and great ND filter, maybe you are interested in this video here.